Hi everyone, my name is Katie Wagner. I'm the president of KWSM, a digital marketing agency. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit about what it's like to work inside a digital marketing agency or how we tell stories for our clients. KWSM is my company. We were founded in 2010. And today we have offices in Orange County, San Diego, Atlanta, and Las Vegas. And what makes us different from other agencies is that we consider ourselves to be brand journalists. We help tell stories about companies and many of us have journalism backgrounds, whether it be magazine, print, TV, or radio. But even those that don't come from journalism backgrounds, we teach to really dig in and understand the stories and the messages our clients have to share and how to convey those through online content. We are a full service digital marketing agency and that means we do things like social media strategy and management, video blogging, photography, content creation, website design and development, search engine optimization or SEO, social and Google advertising, and digital PR and sponsorships. I think the best way to really understand the work we do is to tell you about our weekend in Vegas. We were hired to promote a new show on the Vegas Strip last summer. It's called Maryland, the new musical. And it was opening at the Paris Hotel. It was the Caesars Entertainment production. So the first thing we had to do for the show was to build a website where people could go before it opened to learn about the show and get interested in buying tickets. This is the website design we created. And then we began creating social media content to promote the show. You'll see on the left there, that's a behind the scenes photo from one of the photo shoots with the stars. And over to the right, that's some user generated content. That's actually the choreographer of the show in a quiet moment on stage before it fills up and she has to get to work. And then here we were really lucky to work with the estate of Marilyn Monroe to uh, promote this show. And so on the left there, we got to interview her former boyfriend, Bill Purcell, and ask what he remembered about Marilyn. And on the right, you'll see that we had access to the original sheet music she used to sing a lot of her songs and a lot of movies and occasions. And so we used all of this material to create really engaging social media content so that fans could get a look at what was happening behind the scenes as we hired actors to be in the show, as they rehearsed the show, as we started putting it together and getting ready for opening night. And at the same time all this was happening, we also started representing a client called Epuri. Now Epuri is a new energy drink and it's meant to be mixed with alcohol. So Epuri is like a Red Bull, but it's carried in bars and it's mixed into uh, craft cocktails. And so we started thinking about how these two brands work together, because one of the best parts of our job is not only representing each brand individually, but really creating strategic partnerships and understanding how their stories could intersect. As we worked on Epuri and created the brand for the new energy drink, we decided the Apuri story was really about art and fashion and music and creative people who needed this energy drink to fuel them in their creative pursuits. And we had a bunch of creative people working on the Maryland musical. So we really thought about how we bring the two brands together. As we got ready for opening night for Maryland the New Musical, we started realizing that there was a lot of singing and dancing and spectacularness to the show, and that would represent the Apuri brand really well. And so we introduced the clients to each other and formed a partnership. That meant taking our whole team to Vegas, this is some of our team there, headed to Vegas for the weekend to start launching these two brands together. We were gonna have opening night of the Vegas show on the same night that we were gonna have the world premiere of Epuri, the energy drink, in Las Vegas on the Strip. And so the first thing we did was design a Playbill ad for Epuri to go in the Playbill from Maryland. And so you'll see there the ad we created on the right and it went into the Playbill. And then fun fact, we also got a shout out. You'll see me mentioned in the Playbill there for marketing strategy and social media. So that was exciting. And then we went to the red carpet premiere for Maryland. And these are all the stars walking the red carpet. And we, we used this time to create a lot of social media content to share with our fans. So we did some live streaming behind the scenes. We did some quick interviews with them to get their excitement. We took a lot of pictures. And of course, 
we also walked the red carpet because when in Rome, right? So then during the show, we really worked on audience engagement. We live streamed the first five minutes of opening night of the Maryland musical. And you can see that we were right there in the sound booth set up with our iPhone live streaming on Facebook, just like you would at home. And we also posted these signs to get other fans in the audience who were taking pictures from behind the scenes to post on social media and tag us in those photos so that we could source that user generated content later and put it out on our own social media channels. We had a very successful grand opening. You'll see the, the casino games at the Paris there are all branded with Marilyn, the new musical. And we had a lot of posters up and stuff. This is us at the, the grand opening of the show. And then the minute the show was over, the curtain drops, everybody's filing out of the theater. We rushed upstairs to the nightclub on the top of the Paris Hotel where we were having the grand uh, launch of Epuri, the worldwide launch of the new energy drink. We were throwing a cocktail party for all the showgoers and anyone else in Vegas that night. And so to get ready, for, get ready for the cocktail party, we had to do things like design this menu you see on the left. We designed signature cocktails for the evening. And you'll notice that the cocktails are branded with Maryland themes. So the birthday toast, because of course she sings happy birthday, Mr. President the blonde bombshell, and the intellectual man, because that's the kind of man that Marilyn liked. And we made all of these cocktails based on recipes that would include Epuri drinks. And then to make the party exciting and fun, we also created a lot of branded video content. You know, Vegas is a lot of big screens and flashing lights. And we created these branded videos that um, played throughout the party and were kind of the backdrop or the art in the party. We had a successful U.S. premiere. Here we are celebrating on the roof with our uh, champagne cocktails afterwards. And this was a really great um, example of how we found synergy between two clients. We could have told their stories individually, but bringing them together really helped us do a better job for both of them because we created a unique opportunity to not only get more buzz about the show by promoting it on both Epuri and Maryland channels, but to really drum up an audience for a puree before it even launched by promoting it in conjunction with Marilyn, the new musical. So let's talk about working in digital marketing. That's uh, some of the sexier things we get to do, right? New musicals, new energy drinks. Sometimes we promote things like um, law firms or CPA firms or doctors or health clinics. We also do a lot of fitness, a lot of um, cities that we work for, tourism, travel. So we work in a lot of different industries. And in our industry, in the digital marketing industry, KWSM is a really different type of agency. And some of the things that make us different are that we're all employees of the company. So a lot of agencies you might interview with after college will use freelancers or contractors or interns to do the work. There's nothing wrong with that, but we've chosen to make all our, all our employees actual employees. So they get salaries, they have full benefits, they're actually employed by the company rather than just a staff of contractors. And we have a real office. In fact, we have four real offices in uh, Atlanta, Las Vegas, San Diego, and Orange County. And sometimes this day and age, you'll realize that a lot of agencies kind of operate uh, virtually or remotely. I know most of us are operating remotely now, right? Which is why I'm not there with you today. But most agencies or, or some agencies don't have real offices. So if it's important to you to be in a collaborative team environment with your coworkers, you're going to want to ask that question. Do you work remotely as teams or is there an office you come into every day? The other thing that makes us different is we have longevity. We were founded in 2010 in Orange County, so this year is our 10th year. KWSM Atlanta opened in 2016, Las Vegas opened in 2018, and San Diego opened just in January when we acquired another agency, and that's how we opened our San Diego office. But having 10 years in the business is actually a pretty long time. This is, as you know, a relatively new industry. A lot of agencies in that 10 years have popped up, lasted a couple of years, and then closed again. But the fact that we are going strong after 10 years and continuing to grow and expand and open new offices um, gives us a lot of stability in an industry that sometimes can be a little less stable. You know, 
we say this in jest, that we think it's a scummy industry. It's a wonderful industry and we love it. But what we mean by this is that sometimes digital tools are foreign to customers, to clients, right? The clients that hire us don't understand everything about SEO or about Google keywords or even about the best practices to post on social media or make a Facebook ad. And a lot of times business owners feel pressure to hire an agency or spend a lot of money because they don't know what they don't know. And we feel like that's not the right approach. And so we've really taken an educational approach with our clients and we try to educate them through workshops and webinars and one-on-one -on -one coaching to really understand the services we do and what they're doing for their business because we want them to be able to hold us accountable. We want them to really let us know that they understand why we're doing the things we're doing and that they're supportive of our work because that makes a much stronger partnership. And as a result, our average client has been with us two and a half years at this point. Many of our clients have been with us nine or 10 years, the whole length of our agency. And it's because we really do see those relationships as a partnership and we work really hard to develop plans in conjunction with them and have their buy-in. We love to execute. You know, something that's really common in agencies is that they'll sell a strategy and then the company is in charge of figuring out how to execute it. Um, but we, we don't. We execute all of the work ourselves. So we flew to Vegas. We created the social content. We were there live streaming. You know, we do all of those pieces along the way. So once a company hires us, um, we're the boots on the ground for their marketing plan. We become the marketing team. And we don't at KWSM use any scheduling or automation. We do it all um, organically. And we're actually on our clients' accounts every day, responding to fans and followers and having conversation. We're doing all organic posting and networking because we believe that allows us to get better results for our clients. It's the way we would tell them to do it for themselves if they were gonna do it. And so um, that's the way we wanna do it for them. So I mentioned a little bit earlier our types of clients. We work in a lot of different industries. We have a lot of clients in fitness and wellness and health a lot of beauty, cosmetics, or hair care clients, uh, a lot of municipalities who work with a lot of city and county governments. Um, we do a lot of work in professional services. That would be law firms, CPAs, financial planners, uh, a lot of healthcare, doctors, um, wellness professionals, psychiatrists, psychologists, things like that. And a lot of travel and tourism, hotels, um, you know, big tourism destinations, travel destinations, cities, that sort of thing. And one of the things that is really important about our business, especially in this time, is that we have a broad base of industries that we work in and a broad base of sizes of clients. Not all of our clients are all big. Some of them are small or medium. Not all of them are in the same industry. They all do different things. And that has really paid off in the way of stability as an agency. And you know, right now with the health crisis that's going on, a lot of companies are hurting and a lot of agencies are hurting and it's not their fault, it's, it's the way the world is. But at KWSM, we're really lucky because we've had such a diverse client base that not all of our clients are being hurt by the coronavirus. Some industries like travel and tourism are, are really hurting and those clients have had to scale back services. But other clients like professional services are operating as business as usual, they're just operating from home. And those clients are even ramping up marketing during this time. So having that broad base of industries in a time like this has really saved us. And, and we haven't had to lay anybody off or downsize our business at all during this time, which we feel really fortunate about. But as we go out into the world after coronavirus, those are um, questions you might want to ask as you're interviewing for jobs and, and other agencies. You know, how much of their client base is concentrated in an industry? Before this um, outbreak, maybe we didn't know how important that was, but certainly we do now that the more diverse your client base is, the more stable you are as a company, and the more secure the jobs of all the people that work there are. So those are important questions to ask and information to find out as you, as you look at companies that you wanna work for after graduation. I'll give you one more case study. I wanna tell you about our work for Jerome Alexander Cosmetics. And this is a makeup company. That's Jerome right there. And Jerome just had his 80th birthday. He started this cosmetic company uh, almost 50 years ago. He's been doing this a really long time. 
And the problem is that a lot of people using the cosmetics he was making are older. They've all been with him 30, 40 years. And Jerome had a concern that the brand might die off unless they got some younger people interested in his cosmetics. And so we were hired to expose the brand to a new younger audience. When we took over, this is what the website looked like. And we felt like it looked a little bit um, clunky. It, it looked a little bit um, like old school and we wanted to refresh it a little bit. So we first built a new website. It now looks like this, which we think is much cleaner, a little more modern looking. And then we started creating social media content and advertising content. And we, again, we took all this, these pictures ourselves and we looked into getting makeup artists to use the products. We hired models and we really staged some of these tutorials so that we could create content about it. We also wrote blog posts once a week with makeup tips. We would interview Jerome about his tips for putting on your makeup at your house or how to um, do certain looks that people might want to recreate. And we'd write blogs and have a lot of educational content out there. And this helped people discover it on the internet and come to the website through search because they might be looking for a tutorial on how to do a cat eye, for instance. And because we gave them one, they'd click on the website and check out our products. We also created a lot of video. Video content is really hot on social media these days. And so um, you'll see on the top there, we had a green screen, right? So our model is sitting in front of just a green wall and the makeup artist is putting makeup on her. But look at the shot on the bottom. That's what the finished video looks like. Because with a green screen, we're able to CG in a bathroom. So it looks like they're at home in the bathroom, but um, it would be a lot harder to set up for a shoot at home in the bathroom. So we used a green screen. And these videos went on YouTube, they were shared on Facebook and other social media channels. And then they also were embedded on the website. So when we create content like this, we try to get as much use out of it as possible and as much longevity from the content we create. We also contracted some influencers to help us promote the brand. So uh, this top woman is Melly Sanchez. She's a, a millennial makeup influencer. She has a YouTube channel. And we sent her some products and asked her to create a look using them. That's her look there to the right that she created. And um, when she posted this video on YouTube, it linked to all our products so people could buy the products she used on her face. And then also we gave her a discount code to give to her fans and followers so that if they came to the website, to buy the products, they could use the discount. That makes it easier for them to buy, which encourages more sales, but it also allows us to track which sales came from Melly's uh, video, right? We were able to really understand which consumers she drove to the site because they were the only ones using her discount code. The picture at the bottom there, that's actually model Kathy Ireland. So Kathy has her own talk show now. She has a, a beauty and wellness talk show. And we got Jerome Alexander on the talk show as a guest. And she interviewed him about his career in the makeup industry and about his tips for makeup application. Uh, and that was content that went out on television to a much wider audience. And that helped us raise brand awareness overall about Jerome Alexander Cosmetics. So the results of this campaign. When I made this slide, we we're about six months in to the push to get Jerome Alexander Cosmetics tied into a younger audience, exposed to a younger audience. And the website traffic in that time had gone from less than 2,000 hits every month to more than 8,000 hits a month. So we'd substantially increased the people going to the website. And the sales went from an average of less than $100, around $70 or so per month, to more than $2,000 a month in sales. So we were getting good traction on increasing sales. And then something happened that we didn't see coming. We were trying to sell cosmetics on the internet, but Jerome Alexander Cosmetics are also carried at CVS and Rite Aid, Walgreens. We weren't trying to push those sales, but we found that as we exposed more people to the brand, then they would go into drugstores and they'd recognize it and purchase more there as well. So we actually drove retail sales as well as e-commerce sales during our marketing push. And we got the first sales online uh, from 18 to 25 year olds. This was a brand that was mostly purchased by 40 and 50 year olds in the past. And these were the first sales coming from that younger demographic. 
And so, you know, this is early on, six months into the campaign, but we are accomplishing those results and we're really continuing to push to make sure that the right audiences are being exposed. So that's a little bit about our work. I think I'd like to introduce you to a couple of my colleagues, um, professionals that are not too long out of college, that once sat where you sat and now work at the agency, and they'll tell you a little bit about um, what they like about the work we do. Hi, my name is Ivana, and I am a content editor at KDBSM, a digital marketing agency. Um, I was asked to speak about a few things about what I like about agency life and digital marketing in general. Um, I would say the first, you know, the thing that sticks out to me the most is that digital marketing is always changing. There's new updates going on all the time, um, best practices, better ways to do things. Um, that is, I think, one of the most important reasons why all of us stay so up to date. Um, things that we learned, you know, a few years ago probably don't apply now. And so we're always staying on our feet, always staying updated um, and trying to master whatever online space it is and their, um, their interface. The second thing would be um, when it comes to KWSM is the fact that we serve a ton of clients um, in all different types of industries. And so we really have a vast variety of um, industry knowledge on anything. Um, you know, being able to market a specific company takes a lot of information and education and really learning them. And so the fact that we're able to do that with almost every industry out there um, is something really special. And lastly, I guess this would go for both KWSM and digital marketing is your ability to be so creative um, with whether it's campaigns or social media posts or, you know, even in your writing, maybe email. Um, being creative is super important and I think that is really special to have in your workspace um, and be able to collaborate with other creatives as well. Um, you know, being able to brainstorm and expand, all those things make it um, really fun to go to work every day. Thanks. Hi everyone, my name is Lila Lemire. I have been working in digital marketing for about five years or so. Um, in two of those years, I have been with KWSM, a digital marketing agency. Um, let's see, I, I've been asked to tell you all what you should know about getting into this field. And it's been a tough question because there is a lot that I'd love to tell you from the last five years. But just to highlight a few things, um, sometimes people, when they talk about digital marketing and getting into this career, they assume it's a very creative field. Um, and while it is very creative, there are a lot of different avenues to go into. If you cho do choose to go into digital marketing, you can um, uh, specialize yourself in a more analytical role, which is the direction I've chosen to take. You can uh, focus on more website related work, um, such as landing pages, building uh, lead magnets. So really, you don't necessarily have to be a good writer to get into this field. You could be a really creative graphic designer. You could be a really good photographer or videographer or just really love data analytics like me. Um, and you can find yourself a career um, that really opens you up to uh, digital marketing. Um, which leads me to my second point. There are uh, the benefits of joining an agency is that you will always be interacting with various industries. So in my case, I'm working with clients that are um, in the construction industry, um, in the financial industry. I've got a few that are in more of the Instagram influencer world where they're selling e-commerce products. Um, I've sold vitamins. I've sold um, iPhone cases. It's really there's a lot of different ways that you can go about digital marketing. So if you're not sure what industry you want to work in yet, um, digital marketing agencies are a really great way to get a feel for what's out there um, and exposing yourself to a lot of industries at a very fast pace. Um, and just a tidbit of interestingness, since all of you are on Instagram all the time and you see all these influencers um, posting their content, sharing how they use this certain product, and then you immediately think, wow, I should go buy that. Um, we've noticed a trend more recently where it's not really about the quality of the content that you're posting. So sometimes the ads that I'm putting live for clients are just like grainy photos someone's taken on their, on their iPhone or selfie videos like this one um, that end up converting at a much higher rate um, than some of that really 
quality production value. So in the uncertain times that we're in right now where um, people are working from their home, uh, it's interesting to see how the ads, the advertising space of digital marketing has not slowed down because we can still create all the advertising and commercial related materials that we need uh, to set live these ads and to have them uh, generate leads. So um, if you have any other questions, let me know. Uh, but I hope that this gives you some insight on what it's like to work in digital marketing and um, that you may choose to go into this field. Thanks everybody for letting us tell you a little bit about KWSM and the work that we do for clients. Uh, we had a good time. I wish we could be there with you in person. Um, it's a, a different thing doing it over a webinar, but we want this to be useful for you. So if you have questions, here's my contact information on the screen. You're welcome to email me or call me anytime. And I'd love to answer your questions about um, what it's like to work in the industry or specific job search tips if you're looking for a job in digital marketing. Please reach out. We are here to help you. We would love to be a resource. And also we are always hiring um, both junior account managers. So usually those people come right out of college and also interns. We have a pretty robust internship program uh, where you get mentored by our team. And then we like to hire those people after they graduate. So if you're interested in checking that out, go to our website, which is kwsndigital.com and on the careers tab, you can see more about it. Thanks so much for having us and we hope you'll stay in touch.